It's a bow. It matches your hair bow. Do you like it? I'm cute. I'm cute. I'm cute. I'm cute. I'm cute. <laughs> well, you can't help but think she's adorable, right? We showed you this video yesterday. This is a little cutie giving herself a pep talk in the mirror, talking about how I'm cute, I'm cute. Well, over and over again, she says this, and her mom goes on to tell her that she is also smart and perfect. And while videos like this are very cute to watch, experts say they exemplify the kind of self-confidence that we should be instilling in our kids. And joining us this morning to talk more about it is licensed mental health counselor, Chantal Abbas. Always great to have you. Thank you so much for being here this morning. Absolutely. So when you saw this video, did you think, yes, this is what we should be doing? You know, it can be good and it's kind of cute and fun, but I think there are a lot of deeper things and more important things that we need to do with our kids to build self-esteem. Um, as far as saying I'm cute or I'm pretty or I'm beautiful, that's nice, but too much of that, there's no specifics to it. We really need to focus on what our kids are doing well and what we like about who they are. Um, an example is if a child brings a picture to you and says, mom, do you like this? And you say, oh, it's pretty, it's beautiful. That's nice, but can we expand on that? Like, wow, look at the colors in that picture. I like how you drew daddy's beard. I like all that detail. And you really help them understand what is it that makes my picture special? What is it? And they kind of, you kind of, kind of ask them, what do you think? Right. And bring that back to them because no matter how much other people say about us, we don't believe that until we learn it internally so if you teach this at a young age it's just an exciting topic to me because we were born with the most powerful tool in the world our mind and we read these books like the secret and oh my gosh like unlock your biggest potential right right and it's like it's right in front of us but it's so hard and why is that it's because it doesn't start at an early age and our brain learns to think negative thoughts about ourselves throughout life you know just like when you drive your car every day you don't even remember where you're going because your brain automatically tells you if you think negatively about yourself every day your brain will automatically think negatively but if we learn at a young age how to think positively and how to look at those positives about ourselves and what we like about ourselves and what we're good at even if we fail it's okay right. to fail then it can be phenomenal and so it really does need to start young it, we're such a selfie generation and, and yeah. I know as a parent I worry very much about the amount of time the kids spend looking at their phones taking pictures of themselves uh, look at me look at me look at me what does that say about this generation and and us trying to get them to focus on it's not the outer it's the inner that's important because I think what they're learning right now is it's all about the outer right I think it's a problem you know it's definitely a technology problem that's been ongoing um, I think it's okay and it's kind of fun and kids enjoy it and whatever I think as long as we are really careful at home to instill positive self-esteem such as letting them fail you know a lot of parents early on they, they don't want their kids to fail like something happens they run to the rescue let me fix it let me help you instead let them find the problem solving techniques or when they're young mom will you tie my shoe well yeah I'll help you but I showed you yesterday right so show me what you know so far like really pushing them in that area um, I really think the selfie thing is just a phase it's just I one hope of those so. things <laughs> and, but there's deeper things we need to do role modeling ourselves are we looking in the mirror we get ready for work and saying oh my gosh look at me I look terrible or I'm gonna have an awful day today like they mirror what we do and so we really are creating how they behave and how they act in life so it's pretty phenomenal really if you think about it all the power that you have huge responsibility isn't it's it a really huge responsibility Chantal yeah. thank you so much how can viewers find you my website is chantalaboss.com so okay. that's the easiest way to reach right. me thank you great advice for all the Thanks. parents and grandparents watching too this morning 917 right now let's check in with Jamie